somebody dead ass asked, are you a virgin? Hi cupcakes, how you doing? It's Lisette here. So I always have these like midnight thoughts in my head and I came across that I came across that I never done a Q&A on my YouTube channel. And what's funny is that I've been active for almost a year, so we made it. It's been a year since I've been active on YouTube. I've never done a Q&A, but if you're a real one and you've been subscribed to me since 2017, then you know my first ever video was a kind of get to know me, you know what I'm saying? But like, that's gone. <laughs> I deleted that. I hated it. I don't know why, what I was thinking, honestly, but it got a lot of views. I know it did because I remember I was like, hold up. When I look at it now, I'm like, huh, what was I thinking? But on my Instagram, I uploaded a question bar and a lot of you asked me questions, but a lot of you asked me some dirty ass questions. A lot of you guys didn't ask me like where I'm from, like how old am I, do I go to school, where do I work, what's my favorite color. Yeah, y'all didn't ask me that. Y'all asked me like some deep questions. So what I was thinking is I'll be getting ready and answering some of your questions. First, I'm going to start off with just introducing myself since you guys didn't ask me questions about me. But I will be like introducing myself for a bit and then I'll work my way into answering your questions. Also, uh, I uploaded a picture on my Instagram of my makeup look. Um, I'll put it right here. And a lot of you girls hit me up asking me what palette I use, do a tutorial on that. And I was like, you know what, like I don't want to do a tutorial on that. But I will be doing that eye look today. So stay tuned for that. And yes. Yeah, so with that being said, let's get to the video. I'm going to be doing my eye makeup first. Yeah, I'm going to be doing my eye makeup first. So for the eye look that I did on my Instagram, I only used the Jawbreaker palette. For the lids, I used Anastasia Beverly Hills um, Child. So for my crease, I just used two colors, honestly. And it looked like I did three colors, but no, I did two. I just used bubble gum all over the crease. And then I put Brain Freeze, like I'm... In the outer third and then I just blend it together and it faded into like a purple color so it looked like blue then purple then pink sorry if I'm looking this way it's just my mirror is right there so I hope I don't keep looking that way but hold up I think my eyebrows are a little too dark so my name is Lisette Chino I am 21 years I am 21 ya se cree <laughs> no, 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 no. I am 20 years old. A lot of people always ask me, why is your last name Chino if you're Mexican? I don't know. <laughs> I honestly don't know. Uh, my parents were born and raised in Mexico. Then they came here 32 years ago. And then I was born and raised here in New York. I have two brothers and one sister. And they're all older than me. Me and my oldest brother are 12 years apart. My other brother were 10 years apart. And me and my sister are 7 years apart. Of listening to music on my free time, I, my favorite genre is hip hop hands down. Um, I love all types of artists. I can go from the 90s to the 2000s to the 2010s. Love every artist. A lot of people don't know is that I can go from different types of genres. I can go from rock, pop, hip hop, R&B, and all those. On my free time, if I don't want to listen to music, which is very strange, I love doing my makeup. I've been doing my makeup since I was... 13 but not face makeup I, of course i would not put foundation in middle school just felt like my mom wouldn't allow that and my brothers weren't allowed that because they were very strict on me with wearing makeup when i was young but i would practice on my eyeshadow i my first eyeshadow was a sephora palette and it has so many different colors did not mention this earlier, but my birthday is on July 12th. I was born in 1999. So I do work and I go to college. I go to a two-year college and after graduating from there, I'm planning on going to a four-year college. I'm undecided, so I'm in liberal arts. I have so many paths, it's just I don't know which one to take. So in my first video, I mentioned that I love pizza. I do, but I wouldn't say that's my number one favorite food my number one favorite food is deadass tacos i 
love tacos i would do everything for tacos um i also love pasta and when we're talking about pasta i love chicken alfredo or shrimp alfredo i made that last time if you want the recipe let me know i did ask you guys to ask me some juicy ass questions and you guys did so these are all the questions that you asked me what's one crazy thing you have done i think i've done crazy stuff honestly i'm not a crazy person where am i so the only thing i could think of is just coming home late at night getting drunk or smoking weed and coming home high as hell or cutting school my freshman year and going to house parties all the damn time if you won the lottery what would you do with that money interesting question so those who don't know me i'm also a very caring person i care for the people that i love my mom has gone through breast cancer for three times she had in 2007 i believe 2013 and 2016. after she got in 2013 me and my family we began to well me and my sister and my mom we began to like walk the breast cancer awareness every october and we would donate and it wouldn't be a lot because i started at a very young age so i didn't have money so we would donate like 20 dollars 30 and then every time i we would donate or like my mom would donate i'll feel kind of sad because i didn't have any money so if i had that money i would definitely donate half the money that i got from the lottery to the breast cancer campaign and then with the rest of the money shit, i will definitely go shopping <laughs> you see you see this is where the dirty questions come somebody said you ever wash two girls one cup <laughs> oh you nasty Do not recommend you guys watching that video and if you guys watch that video i warned you are you bisexual? I don't know why, but a lot of people always ask this to me. I don't know why. Maybe it's because I always find girls very beautiful. I'm not bisexual. Space Jam or Looney Tunes back in action? Space Jam. Just because i never seen Looney Tunes back in action. What? How are you keeping busy during this pandemic? Definitely, I've been doing my makeup a lot. I try to take breaks on the weekends but i have definitely been practicing with my makeup i should practice with liquid eyeliner because i'm not good at that and filming videos of course what color would you dye your hair next a lot of people always ask me this just because i dyed my hair pink everybody's like oh what are you gonna do next plans for my hair is i need to redye it that's what because listen bitch that my roots are growing so fast i want to still stick with the pink i just really love the way it turned out i continue doing pink for a whole year and then after that i will choose if i want to do another color or i'm also thinking of like an ombre kind of blonde uh, i'm not sure but if i was to do another color i would definitely think about mint green or blue what got you into makeup I feel like YouTube got me into makeup. Like, definitely Bethany Mota was one of the first YouTubers that I watched. And I was like, you know what? Like, I can't wait to wear, like, makeup in the future. So I would steal my mom's makeup and pretend like I was doing a makeup tutorial when I was, like, 13. What equipment do you use to make YouTube videos? I don't have much. I just have my Canon camera. I think it's a Rebel T6 Canon camera. And just a little small ring light. What made you dye your hair pink? You know what's funny? is that when i was in high school i would see a lot of girls dye their hair and i would always tell them i have virgin hair and they'll all look at me like what and then i would be like i'm never dying my hair i love my hair i want my hair to be healthy like get the fuck out of here i would never in a million years would want to dye my hair but one day i was just like you know what i need a change in my life but I'm always cutting my hair. It's either I have long hair, short hair, or bangs. So I was like, you know what? Fuck it. I'm gonna dye my hair. And I wanted to do it blue at first. But then I saw that every girl was doing blue. And I was like, I want to be different. I'm gonna dye my hair pink. And so I did pink. And here we are.
what is your zodiac sign so my zodiac is a cancer what was your favorite childhood tv show Ooh, bitch. okay i have a lot i when i was growing up i would watch tv all day long definitely spongebob drake and josh and the sweet lies at and cody we're good What countries do you plan to visit in the near future? Definitely Brazil and France. So if you want to take me, you can. <laughs> Who is your favorite YouTuber plus guru? Ooh, so here is the tea, bitch. I do not watch gurus. Like, if I was to watch one, it would be because I searched it. Like, I'll be like, oh, I want to do a purple look. So if, a, if I want to do a purple look and then I see Jeffree Star posted it, I'll click it and I'll watch it. Other than that, I do not follow a beauty guru like that except, except uh, Victoria Loops. I love Victoria Loops. I just feel, I've been watching her since I was a senior. And I think, I believe she was like 16 years old. But my favorite YouTuber is definitely Cody Ko and Noelle Miller. They would have you dying. Like, I legit want to pee my pants every time I watch their videos. That's how funny they are. <laughs> Somebody said, how'd you meet your husband? <laughs> I am not married, first of all. I just have a boo. Um, how did I meet him? I would want to say the story with him. So, come. Nah, I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. He's not here. But I would definitely want to do a video with him about it like a boyfriend tag um because just because it's so funny the way i met him but let me just tell you a little bit about the story just know that i got his number so how to cope with a breakup Ooh, okay so the number one advice that i give people that is going through a breakup is to distract yourself say that because it really helps like honestly like, if you're into makeup definitely do your makeup all the time start a youtube channel you know like distract yourself if you love doing music do some music like, like pour your heart out of how you're feeling in the music what i don't recommend you do is go out to the club get drunk smoke some weed and all that shit i don't recommend that because it will only leave you to regret like don't like yeah you had a good time that night because you got drunk you forgot about the person you know but then the next day it's the same routine all over again you're gonna be sad again and if you are gonna go out like to the club because you know you're single you just want to enjoy life go with somebody you trust don't go with just random people because you know you don't know who to trust but go with your friends have a little drinks enjoy but i i recommend you just distract yourself with something you love have you ever stolen makeup i have i have stolen a liquid eyeliner but that was when i was like 15 when i was broke as fuck have you ever gotten cheated on yes i have <laughs> um if you want a story on that i can do a story time was i sad i mean I think so i don't remember i think it was more mad what made you decide to start a youtube channel so i so i did my youtube channel just for fun i wanted to create memories with it so i was like hey like since i go out all the time and i love doing makeup let me just start a youtube channel and see where it goes because you know you if you never try it, you'll never know. So I just started just for fun. And then now I just seem to enjoy it all the time. And I learned to love editing. Honestly, I know a lot of YouTubers that say that, oh, I don't really like editing or whatever, whatever. Honestly, I love editing. It's so fun. Sometimes it's stressful, but I really love it. Pet peeve. Oh, bitch. Nobody wants to hear my pet peeve. Nobody talks about my pet peeve because shit one thing that i hate is when people double dip oh i i just can't stand it i can't stand it i just feel like all these germs are coming from your mouth and you're double dipping like if we're eating and you double dip best believe i'm gonna stop eating it because you just made me lose my appetite 
and that has happened before i have seen people double dip and i'm just like nope i'm done eating i'm okay ever been in a fight i could have but did they step up to me no <laughs> i'm kidding i'm a lover not a fighter Okay, so I just put white eyeliner under. Um, I use the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil. It's white. And then I just put mascara on. Now I'm going to be putting lashes. And I'm going to be using the J Lash in the style Sadi. Who's your top three favorite artist and why? So my top three has to be Kendrick Lamar. I just feel like he just spits a lot of real things in his music. Number three number three bitch number two definitely beyonce i love beyonce i've been a fan of beyonce since i was six she is definitely a great artist a lot of people always say like oh she's mainstream oh, she's overrated oh, this and that, and that i don't care she's a queen like you can say all you want this woman dances sings and acts like she has literally the whole package bitch like you can't hate on beyonce beyonce is the shit number three bad bunny i've been a fan of bad bunny since i was 17 years old i love him i love his music i love his the way he is he's very funny somebody dead ass acts are you a virgin <laughs> get the shit it's your favorite movie oh my favorite movie is definitely the warriors i love it i could watch that all day so i left this question for last somebody asked me any advice for anyone starting a youtube channel the best advice i can give to somebody that's starting a youtube channel is you don't need an expensive camera trust me like this is the one thing i regret when I was in high school, when I started my first YouTube channel, it came from my friend's iPhone. I thought people loved watching somebody that had like the fanciest camera, you know, like that had a good quality. And I was just like, I was like, you know what? Like I'll save up in the future, I'll buy one and I'll create my own YouTube and a lot of people would watch me. But that's not the case. I have seen a lot of girls that have the best quality, but no views, you know? And I see a girl that uses an iPhone and she has a bunch of subscribers. And I'm like, wow, like, it doesn't really matter if you have a good camera or not. I just gave up on that. And then, like, finally, I was gifted a camera. And then I was just like, okay, so now I can start. When that wasn't the case, like, now I'm like, why didn't I just start with the phone and then work my way up? Like, you maybe I could have had a bunch of subscribers. Who knows? Also, another advice is don't compare yourself to others. It's only going to affect you more and it's just going to bring you down and you don't want that. So that is it for my video. I just added some pink rhinestones in my inner corner and I got that from Amazon. I tried answering all of your questions but some of y'all, you know what I'm saying, some of y'all were dirty as hell. just hope I answer everybody's questions and now you know what the type of person I, that I am. And I just felt like I was always in this bubble and I was always shy. Now I can finally be free and like this was by far the best video I ever filmed. Because I just felt like I was myself. I felt like I, I was like talking to a friend. And I hope you guys enjoyed this look. If you tried this at home, please take a picture and tag me on my socials. And if you guys recommend me any videos that I should do next, please comment down below. I love recommendations. That being said, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And click that bell to get notified every time I post. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!